you know, we got we got a week from tomorrow until you know the season starts. It's Woo! Crazy. It's crazy, man. Here, baby, it's almost crazy. here. So, I'm yeah, excited got- for the season, bro. Like, yeah, NFL season, the off season, off like break is just a long time. Like, it's way longer than basketball, so it's gonna be fresh. And then, like, I saw like a a stat that like until like this will be the last week. This was before last weekend where we would have like where we wouldn't have either college football or college basketball till like April 16th. So I'm like, man, when I, when I see that, yeah. I, you know, I was like, I, like I am right now, I was just smiling, dog. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. That's, we're about to have red zone back. You know, like I said, we, we both said this, one of the top five creations of all time, NFL red zone. Yeah, man. Like if I was like writing down my top five creations of mankind ever made, like NFL red zone, Probably, probably gonna be in that top five, man. It's it's pushing number one for sure. Um, but yeah, man, we're we're doing the NFC South today. Not gonna lie to you, probably the worst division in football. Um, yeah, say, definitely say, last year. Definitely, definitely last, last year. year. You know, I think this year and potentially in the future, it can definitely improve for sure. But yeah. Um. I guess we can start with the the probably the well known favorite, the Falcons. Um, obviously, adding Kirk Cousins as well as drafting Michael Penix. You know, Kirk coming off the Achilles, obviously, it's going to be a question, but still, he's still a good quarterback. Um, you know, they got the young guys, the young trio, Bijan Pitts, Drake London, obviously, who are all trying to, I think, have breakout years um, individually because I think. All three of them have had, you know, decent years, but not that one, you know, year where they've really broken out. Um, obviously, Bijan being a rookie last year, but, you know, I think the offensive line's really good, one of the strengths of this team. Uh, and then defensively, they've added a lot of veteran pieces. You know, we talked about Judon, uh, Justin Simmons, obviously still have A.J. Terrell and um, Jesse Bates in the, in, the, in the secondary. So they got those guys that have had good careers obviously some of those guys are older but still have a chance to be a decent defense but you know i'm interested to see how they do because i don't really know what their ceiling is but i do expect them to win this division but you know it's just really going to come down to i think kirk cousins level of play coming off that achilles and then you know defensively how good they can be um but yeah they're, they're my team to to win this division for sure yeah, I, I mean, I think the Falcons are the favorite to win the division, but, like, they're not necessarily, like, a big favorite to me like everyone else has it. I, I just think there's a lot of questions there. Like, yeah, like, you know, you're getting a new OC, you're getting a new head coach, you get Kirk Cousins off a of torn Achilles, you're bringing Matt, you Judon in. Like, can you utilize Bijan? Is Kyle Pitts going to be, you know, as hyped up as he was coming into the draft after his first year? Like, Drake London, is he going to show up? Like, there's a lot of guys who need to step up and make their mark this year, whether from the coaching staff to like the players, like literally there's a a ton of guys like, like even Justin Simmons, like Matthew Judon, those guys are coming from different teams. You know, you got to establish your ability to, you know, improve and perform like on a new team. Like the only guy, like I'm really comfortable with on the roster is like AJ Terrell, you know what I'm saying? Like who got extended. So that's why like, I, I would still have the Falcons as a favorite, bro. But like, I, I don't have that, like, much, like, oh, okay, yeah, they're definitely winning the division like every, everyone else. Like, I'm personally not as high as them, high on them, like, right now. But that could change, obviously. But, like, I mean, you know, they're in the worst division in football. Like, even if they do win the division, get a two and three seed, like, I think it's going to be hard for a lot of people to believe in them. Kind of like the Vikings, how they were in, like, 2021, 20, 22, or no, 22, 23. Yeah, yeah the 2022-23 season, like, I, I just feel like I could see the same thing with the Falcons. But a lot, a lot of talent, like you said, bro, like, they stack. You know, they're stacked for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you – with Arthur Smith, you know, I feel like he's probably better as an OC than as a head coach, and he definitely wasn't fit for them. I mean, when, you, when you're not utilizing – if you go up and draft a running back in this day and age at seven, you better utilize him to the max ability, bro. Like trade and touches with um, I forgot I forgot their other back's name last year. Um, he's just blanking right now. Alge- was it Algier or is he yeah, on Tyler Algier. Yeah. 
Yeah, like giving Ty- Tyler Algier more touches in the red zone, like on third downs. I just didn't understand that. Like why why go and draft Bijan and if you're not going to utilize him? Same thing with Kyle Pitts as well, Drake London as well. So I, I think that's going to be different. I think Kirk is a quarterback you can trust in to get the ball, but like him off a of Achilles injury, brother, that's like a – that's, you know, one of the worst injuries you could have as a player, let alone at, what, 36, 37 years old? Yeah. Well, it's going to yeah. be interesting. We don't know about Michael Penix either. You know, it, it's just – I feel like there's too many questions for me to be like, oh, yeah, they're a, a force in the NFC. But nonetheless, though, they'll, yeah. they'll probably win the division. Yeah, I think, they, I think they'll win the division. But like you said, I feel like winning a playoff game would not be surprising, but I would definitely not – be uh, comfortable with that, you know, like, as of as of what I've you know am anticipating. But uh, like, like for example, like let's say they were the third seed and they played the Rams, like a sixth seed. Yeah. Would you? Who would you take in that game? I'd probably take the Rams. Rams. You know what I'm saying? Like and it's then, just it's just one of those things where it's like Seattle Falcons. I'm like, ooh, I, like I don't know. So they don't really give me that that vibe, like a like a 49ers, like. You know, Lions like the Packers really um, this year. Yeah. So, and yeah, like, it's <laughs> a chance they could play like the Packers or the Lions or, you know, Cowboys, Eagles, Bears, Rams. Like, that's the NFC is deep, deeper this year than last year, uh, in my opinion. So, like, no matter who you play in the first round, it's going to be difficult. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I feel like the ceiling would be a divisional round like a wild card round win and then losing the visual round. But I wouldn't even anticipate that really, but they do have a lot of talent. Um, just like you said, there, there are definitely questions, um, but yeah. Cause like with, with a guy like Kyle Pitts, right. It's like, you know, this is kind of might be his last year of really getting that, you know, big trying in that big extension, right. You've got Bijan, you got Drake London. Like there's a lot of guys who need to prove themselves and, I think Arthur Smith took away from some of that as well. The bad quarterback play from like Desmond Ritter, um, Taylor Heineke, Marcus Mariota over the last three years, like not great at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why like I want to come in the year and give them like a fresh, like a fresh, not a fresh start, but just like a fresh. Okay. It's everything's fresh. It's new this year, new quarterback, new system. Um, but if they don't perform this year, like it's going to be tough to really, you know, buy into that hype. Like, cause wasn't Kyle Pitts like, um, one of the most hyped tight end prospects ever. Yeah. Like up there with Brock Bowers now. Like, Yeah, definitely. I think he went like, is he the fourth pick or sixth or eighth, something like that? Yeah. Definitely top 10 pick. And obviously the quarterback play is, <laughs> it's been bad. Like there's no hiding that. Uh, but yeah, this, you make a great point. It is a great opportunity for him to break out, you know, because this is kind of, Year three or year four, I can't remember. I think it's year three, maybe four. Uh, yeah. I think he was in – I think he was with the Jamar Chase. Uh, yeah. That class. I think year four. So, like, yeah, I think he has to show something, you know. Jamar Chase, Jettas, Kyle Pitts, Zach Wilson. Mike. <laughs> All-time greats. <laughs> Bro, that video of Zach Wilson, bro, like when, um, you know, it's like the commercial break with all like the – top rookies that I just named and they're just sitting there. He's just looking.